Uh, I'm, I can't wait for this to get going, but in talking with Heaven's Mountain Band just before, I wish we had another half an hour just to talk <laughs> to them, because yeah. I was pretty fired up, and, and it's, it's really neat how the Lord and music bring people together from all walks of mm. life, and they're, they're an example of that. So um, again, my name is Joe Lowe, your host for most of the week, and uh, I'm joined with Rachel Santana, and I've been here for most of the week as well. <laughs> okay, very good. All right, we're going to get into this because I, I want you to know more about them. So we're, we've got just a couple questions, and really, if this goes long, you'll It'll be to your benefit. You'll be <laughs> amazed by uh, what you learn about these guys, okay? So right off the bat, uh, why don't we go ahead and introduce everybody. We'll start right here, Janice, with you. Uh, Janice Weeks from Harriston, Virginia. I'm Janetta Bosley from Churchville, Virginia. Barry Hevener from uh, over next to Mount Solon, Virginia. Come on. I'm Logan Bosley from Churchville, Virginia. Great, Brad. I'm Brian Anderson from uh, Waynesboro, Virginia. And that leaves me, and I'm uh, Darren Hevender, and I'm from uh, Stanton, Virginia. All right, good deal. Thank you. Now, um, let's see. We, you told us where you're from, but there's something very unique, and I read it in your, if, if you'll, I guess it's bio. Yeah. Uh, but mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about this band's makeup. It started in 1992. My father, Boyd Hevener, um, started the group and Darren and I were one of the original members with him and uh, uh, we just kind of carried along for a couple years and then uh, he passed away in 2008 and uh, we decided to keep the group going and and kind of added a few new members here and there and, and so that's where we're at today we talked sorry I need to use this we talked a little <laughs> bit about uh, it was 92, and mm -hmm. folks, the, the makeup changed a little bit. Folks mm -hmm. come and they go, but then there's some real family history mm -hmm. that goes even deeper. Janetta, what's, what were you talking about? Well, my mom and dad and I lived with my grandfather after my uh, grandmother passed away when I was real young, and um, he played uh, banjo, mandolin, and harmonica, and there was music around with him, and then a lot of the kids would come around and their families and would play music as well, and so Boyd, their father, um, formed a group before this group was formed in 92, the Heaven Airs, and several of my cousins and I with Boyd formed, we were in that group, and we disbanded, and then a few years later, Boyd started this group. So music has kind of been a part of our lives all through growing up for all of us. Janice had music in her life as she was growing up. She'd sing with her sisters. That's right. And we just feel that the Lord expects us to use the talents he's given us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Janice, and that was a theme that I, I thought was really impressive. Janice, tell us a little bit about, about what you were saying earlier, about how, how trained you are in music. Well, and, uh, <laughs> trained from... I don't want to put West Virginia down, but I'm from West Virginia. <laughs> and I we grew will. up in the mountains of West Virginia. And I'm very thankful that my mom and dad loved the Lord. And they raised us children to that. We walked, we walked to church. When the church doors were open, we were there. My brothers played the guitars on the front porch. And uh, my sister played the piano. And we sang harmony vocals and didn't know a note, don't know a D from an F from a G. But... We just wanted to sing and praise the Lord because he deserves it. Amen. Amen. He deserves it. Amen. Amen. Now, and she's very passionate. I know you all are. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I was teasing her earlier because her eyes were starting to sweat a little bit when she was yeah. talking about this passion. <laughs> yes. And yes. I see it going yes. through the whole band. Now, Logan, you have a mother, and you, you work with her closely. She, in fact, <laughs> Logan is Jeanetta's son. Correct. So and that's a, that's an awesome thing. Yeah, and I'm new, uh, newish. I've been with the band for a little bit less than a year now. I'm very happy to be playing with everybody here. We're happy to have you. I was a sound him. guy for a while, and then uh, <laughs> some things changed, and they needed a guitar player. So here I am. Amen. <laughs> Amen to that. Now my brother-in-law is a sound guy, and the sound guys are usually back there. So <laughs> this is this is a bit of a transition to it. All right, and the Lord's using your gifts He's on the front well. and back of the house there. Amen. Um, now, there was something else that's very beautiful about this group. 
And I believe you guys are all of one religion. What is it, Buddhist or something? <laughs> Not really. No, no, our, no, God, no. our God is alive. Oh, God is alive. Let's get Amen. that straight. Tell us a little bit about your, your philosophy on, on faith and, and what our backgrounds are. Well, we all love the Lord. Amen. We might be from different denominations, but we have one common denominator, and that's God and his son Jesus Amen. and the price he paid. And let me tell you, that love that God has for not only the world but for us, it shares among us, no matter what denomination you are. Yes. And it's proved it through yes. thick and thin. It's proved it with this group. Now, Amen. that's heartfelt because that's when, her, when Janice's eyes start yeah. to mist up a little bit, when she was talking about this bond <laughs> and its music and, and it's the Lord and the Lord brings them together and knocks down all these barriers. Amen. And Janetta said it wasn't easy. It's not easy, <laughs> but not all the time. it's worth it. Now, how many things that are absolutely easy or free are actually worth it? So, yeah, you know, the right. harder you work for something, the more valuable it is. The exactly. more it means to you. It yes. becomes a part of you. Yeah. Yeah. And we all have a burden for the mm. condition of the world and those in it. Yeah. And uh, God's role in the world, the creation, the redemption. And that's why we do what we do. Amen to that. Amen. Um, let's see. What are your thoughts? Another question we have for you is, we've talked a lot about how you made up, made up of as a band, how you started, but what do you play? What music really has been impressed upon you? You remember I told you what my granddad used to play? <laughs> yes. In fact, he used to play for dances before he became a Christian. So, Barry, wow. I'll let you take it from there. Well, D Darren was getting ready to say something. Oh. I, won't, I won't steal his show. Well, yeah, I mean, I was just going to say, you know, if you take a look at our instruments, um, with a banjo and a mandolin and, of course, you know, guitars and basses. You know, we, we, of course, do stringed instruments. People may think bluegrass, right? I mean, that's the, the genre that you generally see, you know, mandolins and, and, and banjos. But we have talked in the group, and we're actually uh, very appreciative of this group, that we're able to do, we kind of call it like acoustic variety. And so as you listen to our songs, some will sound more like a bluegrass feel. Some will sound not like a bluegrass feel. Uh, we, we don't have that many originals, but we have done some originals in the past. I believe there is one original that we'll do that our dad wrote um, down in the, in the program. But again, just being able to use these instruments, it's a, it's a talent because we haven't really had any significant formal lessons. And so to be able to play different styles, uh, you know, singing and, and you know, rhythms and chords, you know, just a, a gift from God that we have to praise the Lord. And each one of us here are using our gifts. And, and something I've said in the past is we, each one of us, are not up here to entertain. And you asked about the bond. And so part of that bond is we are here spreading the gospel message um, in what we do up front. Okay. That's it right there. And they said, you just said something. We're not here to entertain. Correct. But what you're using this this as a method to minister to minister amen and exactly. discuss that message yep. all right now exactly. uh before we get on with the music uh, do you all have points of contact like a, a website or a facebook or you have that mm -hmm. all right and um, yeah you can you can find us and find information about us uh our website is heavensmountainband.com make sure to get the dot com in there because there's another group Heavens Mountain Band, and there's his .net. So we want you to go to .com, but they, they're, right. they're great, too. They're great, too. Uh, also, Facebook. Uh, you can find us on Facebook as well. All right, so we, we talked, uh, and we want to have that on our Valley Tent Revival website. So we're going to put that information up there for folks. Awesome. Now, we spoke earlier, and I asked if you, if you had albums or CDs, and you do, uh, and you say that you usually give them out for donations. Mm -hmm. So we want to direct folks to, to you. Uh, sure. They can go to our website and find your link there yep. and and i'm sure that they'll be able to to communicate with you all and and um, yep. and take advantage of, of this ministry that you guys are offering for us yes. rachel mm -hmm. what do you have anything else nope i just hope you all at home are ready to, to hear some music i know i am this is a lot of the music that i've grown up around so i cannot wait to be blessed by it today how about that now okay. before we get on with this i'm holding this paper as a cue and i keep forgetting to look at it <laughs> so that was our welcome, by the way, and we want to always remind you to please go to said website and our Facebook page, valleytentrevival.com, and uh, like us and share it, and then also go to heavensmountainband.com, not net, <laughs> there as well. 
And uh, also, we, uh, we want to be encouraged to, well, this is it. One more thing on the schedule. One more thing on the schedule is uh, tonight, this evening, we have our last installment. Our very last one, last one we have. Okay, very good, <laughs> of Dr. Kilgore. But even before then, we have a health nugget. Yes, it's starting at 6.45, 15 minutes before our program is our little health nugget. I really encourage you guys to check in just a little bit early to hear it and hear some more health things that can help us boost our immune system and our overall health and wellness. All right, very good. Unless y'all have anything, we're done talking. All right. All right. We get to get into this. Bless you guys for being here. Mm -hmm. And I know this is a blessing that will be extended. Thank Thank you very much. Thank Thank you for having us. God bless you guys. Thank you. All right. Well, you folks that are uh, listening and watching at home, uh, sing along. That's right. In your living room or kitchen, wherever you're at. (laughs) All right, guys. One, two, three, four. you singing, Logan. <laughs> Good job. Even without a mic. That's right, without a mic. You know, this time at, that we live in, um, these are not good times, you know. Mm. But um, this is one song that was wrote and done by a group years ago, and it fits right in today. If we would just learn to do a little bit of this song, just a little bit, our whole world would be something different. You know, the Bible says, Jesus was saying, if you've done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, you've done it unto me. So listen to the words of the song. One, two, three, four. You see your brother standing by the road with a heavy load, comes easy so. And see your sister falling by the way Just stop and say You're going wrong way You've got to try a little kindness Show a little kindness Just shine your light for everyone to see And if you try a little kindness You'll overlook the blindness Of the narrow-minded people On the narrow-minded
kindness. Show a little kindness. Just shine your light for everyone to see. And if you try a little kindness, you'll overlook the blindness of the narrow-minded people on the narrow-minded something for us on the banjo, dude. I think I just might. thing about this group is uh, we love the Lord and we like to talk to him as well as sing to him so we'd like to take this opportunity now to say a word of prayer just to acknowledge who he is if you don't mind let's pray most kind gracious heavenly father oh loving living God thank you for being so kind and loving to us when we don't deserve it Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who gave his life at Calvary so that we may have eternal life. Mm -hmm. Father, I know that you are, you're sovereign and you're in control, even when it seems so out of control here. 
We pray for those that don't know you today. We pray that, Lord, that in some way may your Holy Spirit move and touch their hearts, that they may come to know you as us, so that when your son Jesus comes to take us home, they may go too. Lord, we love you, and we just thank you for taking care of us. And I pray that you bless each one that is listening today, that you will bless them in a very special way and move in their lives. Watch over them, care for them, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, James. All right. It's sing-along time again. Even though we can't hear you, we want you singing. We hope you're singing. You have to sing loud. <laughs> Fun, amen. Hopefully, you're washed in the blood. Here's another one y'all can sing on. Another one y'all can sing on, right? Great. As I travel. Oh, girl. 
Amen. It's fun. Amen. I don't know about you, but how uh, ready are you all to give this world up and go somewhere else? You know, this world isn't our home. That's not what we're going to do next. But I think when I hear this song, it sort of makes me think of Elijah. You know how he left this world in a chariot. So that's what we're going to do now. Swing low, sweet chariot. <laughs> Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. I looked over Jordan, what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. how many nice bass voices you have out there but uh, we need them. <laughs> yeah we Darren need said them. we need them which we do but whether you have a nice bass voice or not that's fine you can help us out with this one church in the wildwood that should bring back some memories all right Darren you ready for this one we shall try we're gonna try it see if we can get it right Are you ready Brian all right, here we go. One, two, three. There's a church in the valley by the Oh, 
You're jumping in there singing all right. That's good. Helping us out. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to do this one. The, the girls are arguing with me. We're going to do it, yeah. Uh, there was a fella a long time ago. His name was Tommy Dorsey, a uh, songwriter, uh, and, and we're going to do one of his songs right now. We've done it for quite a few years, but uh, it's got a great message. Uh, and, again, really applies to the time we live in and, uh, just our faith and trust in, in the Lord Jesus. Here we go. You ready, brother? Man, you got another instrument. <laughs> One more. Here we go. Precious Lord, take my hand. Lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I am weak. I'm glad we did that. <laughs> All right, another well-known. Uh, this is a more. This would be a more uh, bluegrass gospel or country gospel uh, song. Been around a long time, and uh, and I'm gonna play this in uh, G. We yeah, all gonna be in. Yeah, play that in G if you okay. would. Here we go. Will the circle be unbroken by and by? Oh, that 
Hurts come rolling for to carry my mother away. Will the circles be unbroken? a little discussion up here about some time constraints. All right, let's see if we can do this one. Hold on a second. Hold on. I'm not quite ready. Okay, now I'm ready. This is when we need a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, one, two, three. When the storms of life below toss my soul to and fro, that is when my Savior stands by me. On the land or stormy sea Makes no difference where I'll be I will have my blessed Savior stand by me Lord, I'll stand before the world and worship Thee The Holy Ghost and the Word of God, they doubt the grief I'll be your witness here below Makes no difference where I go Lord, I'll stand before the world and worship Thee Difference where I go, 
Lord, I'll stand before the world and worship Thee. Lord, I'll stand before the world and worship Thee. You know, sometimes I, I think these boys, they, they don't know which instrument to choose sometimes. They go back and forth, back and forth. I told them if they get one of my air new, uh, new instruments, they'd be just fine. They could change and nobody would know it. You boys and you toys. Stays charged all the time. I all never right, well have to tune it. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do now is another sing-along for you. And uh, this is one that, you know, we talked about uh, Jesus and his death on the cross and uh, his blood. And so this song is called Power in the Blood. So again, please sing along with us. We're going to see if we can have a little fun with this one too. Yeah, come on back. <laughs> come on back. They thought they were going to get out of it, but uh, sorry. You'll have to sing on this one, please, ladies. That's right. <laughs> Here we go. You, Logan, you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Now you may go instrument. sit or go away or whatever you're going to do. I'll and go I'm away. <laughs> I definitely will go away. Uh, we'll, we'll call you back. We've been waiting on this all afternoon. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Re re remember this, you know, uh, it was hard sometimes together. Well, this might be part of it. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here's what we're going to do, folks. Um, this is called A Song Without Words. Oh, no, wait a minute. An instrumental, right? right. Oh, okay, good. That's right. So now, uh, <laughs> normally what we do, there's a few people here. Um, we like to see if people can guess what it is, all right? Isn't that critical, cool, right? You know, play a song. If we do it right, you might can guess what it is. So we're going to do that. We do have a few people here, so we'll see if that, uh, that can occur, all right? And, and you folks can play at home as well, see if you can guess it. That's right. We better play it. Well <laughs> That's right. We better play it, right? <laughs>
right now anybody anybody this is my father's world all right great we got someone who knows his music or at least was paying attention <laughs> <laughs> all right. Played it and, right. Oh, thank you, Logan. Yeah, <laughs> Logan. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you very much. What are we doing next, boys? Oh, yeah. There's a, a song called "I'd Rather Have Jesus Than Anything This World Has to Offer." I don't think those are the exact words, but that's what it means. And this song is sort of like that. You can have anything, but give me Jesus. If we all had that. Think of the good that could be done Amen. in this world. Amen. Please, Lord, take the hatred away. And everyone, think of Jesus. Amen. In the morning. Audience participation. That's right. Yeah, I've been waiting a while for this. That's right. Come on, children. Let's get our lights up. I know that's what you did when you was in. You know, there we are us to be Something as like a light on a hill. Yeah. And then we put our lights up, and then we praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you ready? I, are they tuned? They're okay. ready. All right. They're tuned. <laughs> No. I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, hide it under a bushel. No. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Play one for us, babe. With sin, but I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. 
Then Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Oh, I saw the light, I saw the light. No more darkness, no more night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow. I saw the light, I saw the light, no more darkness, no more night, now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside, praise the Lord, I saw the light. Shine till Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine Every day, every day, every day, every day Every day I'm gonna let my little light shine Every day, let it shine, let it shine Every day Amen. <laughs> Let your little light shine, people. Please do that. Please, please do that. He was testing us, wasn't he? <laughs> and he you passed. I'm glad I took a long breath before that. <laughs> yeah, well, he kind of warned you in practice, right? Well, to be honest with you, I think God was singing for me there for a little bit because I, I had to do it. I just had to. Yeah, I know. Good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another fun song. Sing with us on this one, okay? Jesus walked that lonesome valley. He had to walk it by himself. Oh, nobody else could walk it for him. He had to walk it by himself. Oh, you gotta walk. You gotta walk that lonesome valley. Lonesome valley. You gotta walk it by yourself. By yourself. Oh, nobody else. John. He was a Baptist. Was a Baptist. Some say John. He was a Jew. He was a Jew. But the Holy Scripture tells us that John was a preacher too. Daniel was. Daniel was a Bible hero. A Bible hero. He was a prophet, brave and true. Brave and true. In a day. Walk. That lonesome valley, lonesome valley. He had to walk 
walking by himself. By himself. Oh, nobody else. Nobody else. Could walk it for him. He had to walk it by himself. He had to walk it by himself. folks um i think we're going to uh, end on our last song here uh this afternoon hopefully you've enjoyed it uh, hopefully you uh, have been blessed hopefully you've been able to praise the lord with us um in our music and in words and we've been having a lot of fun uh with you guys and uh, you know uh, that's one of the great things about serving the lord right it's fun um Amen. it's fun and and when you can share in the love with uh with our heavenly father and with fellow uh, believers it's uh, it's a wonderful thing Wonderful thing. And so right now, uh, like I said, it's our last song. This is a song that our dad wrote, and uh, it's called Hurry, Please, Jesus. And what we like to do, uh, again, as we mentioned earlier, you know, this is, uh, we're not here for entertainment. You know, we're here as a ministry. We're here to spread the saving message of the gospel of Jesus Christ to, to those who hear us um, in, in our words and in our songs, and, and hopefully... Um, you all can see uh, what a joy it is to know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. And if you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, this is your opportunity. This is your opportunity to take that, those few moments and pray to God and ask the Lord to forgive you for your sins and ask Him to be your personal Lord and Savior. Accept that free gift that Jesus gave on the cross when He died for you and for me. And I like to say that this is the most important decision that you will ever make in your entire life because it has eternal consequences. And so we as Heaven's Mountain Band, we want to challenge you to make that decision. You won't be sorry you did. And also, if, if uh, you have made that decision already, you know, it's time to keep learning, keep growing. The Bible, the wisdom of God is infinite. Study the Bible. Learn what is happening out there in the world. The Bible will tell you Things are happening. Things will continue to happen. We need to believe in Jesus Christ. And so please take this opportunity, take these moments to just pray to the Lord God. Ask the Holy Spirit to fill you. Uh, it's called Hurry, Please, Jesus. Amen. I'd just like to add, too, that, you know, with the, the times that we're living in, uh, there's several things that we have, uh, we know for certain. We can have faith. We can have trust. Have encouragement. Amen. Because in all this, God has a plan. He has Amen. a plan, and we know the end result. So just have faith and trust. One of my favorite texts is, In this world you will have trouble. But listen to these words. I have overcome the world. Amen. Amen. and come back to this earth again Times are so bad come and take us from this world of sin Knowledge increases we often forget about you What we really need is your love to carry us through Jesus, I know that you said you'd be coming again. Jesus, I know that you said there would no man know when. Jesus, I hope that you hurry, don't tarry too long. Jesus, come soon, bring an end to our sins and our wrongs.
what it means to know someone like you. They'd soon realize that your love would carry them through. What they really need is your love to carry them through. What we really need is your love. God bless you all, folks. Thank you. God, God bless, bless you. you. God bless you. Well, if only your message in music was uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was, that was, that was a blessing and amazing. And I'm fulfilled. And I tell you what, uh, Dr. Kilgore, is as if you all sat and talked because most of the songs played here emphasized every talk you had. And that just tells you how powerful the Bible is and how consistent the Lord's message is. And, and, and that's incredible. I had some other things to say, but I've forgotten them because I'm just uh, uh, really moved by this. And oh, I will say this is very important. Please visit our website so you can see Heaven's Mountain, Heaven's Mountain Band uh, dot com. Uh, there, you can reach them there, and I know you will, because I know I am. So. And I want to thank you all so much. My family, whenever we have family reunions, we have at least one guitar, one fiddle, one banjo, and one mandolin out for all of our gatherings. So this was incredible bustling for me. Yeah, thank you she, so much. You it was beautiful her. music. Yeah. She was sitting next to me going, oh. <laughs> so, yes. This is relatively new to me, but I, I, I'm, and I know you all say you're not trained, but my goodness, there's so much talent, and the Lord has blessed you all Amen. in a way that you can bless us and bless others, because I'm just amazed. And you're right, the guys have a lot of toys, don't they? <laughs> wow, wow. They don't let us have They don't let you have any, I know. And then they make you stand up, even though they know you hurt your knee. <laughs> right? The Lord did that, because I prayed to him, he was going to have to do that. Okay. Amen. And I didn't need to sit down one time. <sighs> Except for when they kicked us off the stage. They did that, Janice. They did. Janice, you almost fell off the stage. You went so, so far. I was fine. Okay, all right. I, I was starting to worry a little bit about that. So, yeah. well, you know what? I want to thank you very much for this. And I want to ask you guys: Would one of you all mind praying to close us? Oh, wait. Before we do that, thank you, thank you, dear. Before we, I think we got to get through these announcements here. All right. We just want to reiterate that tonight at seven o'clock is our last Valley Tent Revival meeting with Pastor Kilgore speaking. Also, to check in 15 minutes earlier to hear a little health nugget from Heartland that they're presenting. As well as our schedule, last time we're going to say it, check our schedule on our Facebook and uh, website, valleytentrevival.com, for all of the links and things to that. As well as if you have any questions at all, if you have questions about our event, questions about our new friends, or any questions about God, please email them to us at valleytentrevival at gmail.com. Absolutely. And I... Now, if you're watching us now, you're not out there. But in case you're thinking about spending the evening uh, over at SVAE and enjoying this from a live stream outside, don't do that. Uh, we've, we've got, we canceled that because of uh, fear of rain. So please remember uh, that we're not uh, setting up a live stream out at SVAE. Uh, and uh, please tune in uh, once again. Wow, thank you very much. Oh, amazing. Hello. Let's bow our heads. Our wonderful Heavenly Father, Lord, we do thank you for this afternoon that we've been able to spend together singing and praising your name and just talking about you and spending time with one another. Father God, in this world in which we live, uh, it's so wonderful to know you, uh, to know, as Barry mentioned, that we can have faith in you and that we can trust in you and that we can know you as our personal Lord and Savior. And Father God, I pray that each one of us, uh, as, we, as we leave this gathering, wherever we're at later today, through the week, Lord, that we would rest in our relationships with you. If we don't have one, I pray, Father, that you would help us get a saving relationship with you. And Father God, give us the, the peace that passes understanding. 
And as, uh, as Jeanette mentioned, help us to remember that you have overcome the world. And so nothing that happens in this world is greater than you are. And so, Father God, we just thank you and praise you for that. Lord, we ask that you would please forgive our sins and let us be drawn closer to you each and every day. Thank you, Father God, for, for this church and for what they're doing. Thank you, Father God, for the speakers, the presenters, all the folks that are helping in each and every way. I pray continued blessings upon them and upon the, the, the meeting later on this evening. Father God, I pray for safety if there is weather coming. And just, Lord, bless everything that has happened, that you might be glorified and that we might be able to, to grow in you and share these with anybody and everybody that we may meet as you give us opportunity through the leading of your Holy Spirit. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Once again, thank you guys for this. This is a true blessing. I were not live.